Because a new world order, the business of the day for the elite when you're coming to take your freedoms away. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and especially my Million Mask March brothers and sisters. Uh, listen, it's kind of on a sad note that I have to bring you this, and before I start, uh, I don't want any of you trolls, because I know you're out there all over the fucking place, to twist one thing. I am in no way putting this out to diminish this movement. I'm for it altogether. I think we ought to go today. Um, but there are things that have come to light uh, since this march came out and um, I want to throw a few dots out there and I want to call any of the people that are you know well versed in space science, uh, earth science, earth changes, all those things which I am not. I'm just vaguely familiar with them. I need all eyes open, all hands on deck type of thing uh, to confirm or deny the points that I'm going to throw out there now because the dots that I'm going to throw out there now paint a very sadistic and dangerous picture for every one of us. Um, and, and it may, you know, be an awakening for others. This might be a good thing, but um, anyway. Okay. Uh, so, the march, November 5th. Recently some things have come out. Mr. Maverick star video about the pole shift and this would, if this science is true, and I believe him to be credible, but I, I don't know. I can't say yes, this is going to happen and I'm going to give you a date, but his timeline is going to be somewhere around maybe end of November, end of December type-ish thing, okay? Um, and this is going to cause mass destruction uh, and whatnot. And if you were going to be in that situation before it started you want would want to corral as many of the dissidents in your country as you possibly could because when these type of things happen um, all hell's gonna break loose and there aren't gonna be any rules and people are gonna lose their fucking mind and steal and pillage and all kinds of shit like that so you would want as a government to round up all those people ahead of time nor would you tell your people that this mass devastation was coming now, over the last year, we know about uh, things like the uh, NLE 2011. Um, all this stuff you can Google, guys. Uh, you know, I'm not going to put a bunch of links down there below. I want all eyes open. Uh, if somebody can prove me wrong about what I think, and let me tell you, I got a sixth sense about things, folks. I'm all for this, but I, I got a bad feeling. I got a bad feeling, and that bad feeling has also uh, saved me from... Um, you know, giving things to people that I shouldn't have when they were wearing a wire. So keep that in mind, please. Um, so 2011 NLE, we know about that. Uh, we know about all the underwater body bags and food and uh, now most recently all the ammunition. They know the country's in an uprising. Again, um, another reason to get everybody one place real quick. Uh, Okay, 15,000 Russian troops on their way. You can Google that up. Uh, and I saw in one of these it suggests the reasoning is because of a major uh, disaster in FEMA Region 3. FEMA Region 3 is D.C. in that general area. You can Google that up and get the map. FEMA Regions, what is there, 9, 10 of them, whatever. FEMA Region 3 is D.C. You'll see that that's true when you start doing some research. Because um, you need to. Uh, you need to. So, and this is what I'm thinking. Because uh, everybody's asking, why, why are they bringing Russian troops for a disaster? Because our troops will just do that. Our troops won't point their guns on us, folks. They're not going to turn their arms on us. No. No. And I think that, that if that part of the puzzle is true, if the 15,000 Russian troops are for the Million Mask March, and... Um, there is an upcoming disaster. My whole idea with about the whole Mayan thing that was, and I talked about this last week on the radio show. You can go look at my archives. I'll put a link below. Because I thought, and, and others thought, that the whole Mayan thing was, you know, maybe a year off. And so that puts us in the same year being general terms. Puts us in the same timeline. Um, so, where do we go from here? 
First of all, we need to confirm uh, Mr. Maverick Star's information. Everybody start taking compass readings, do it every week. Uh, I would think that if his math is correct, then we should see a change in our compasses, no matter where we are, within four to six weeks. A change that's noticeable enough to say, wait a minute, that shouldn't have happened. Even if it's one degree or half a degree or whatever you can see on that compass over the next month, you're going to know that he's on the ball. Okay, and if uh, we've confirmed this, I mean, basically it's all over the place. Uh, maybe it is just hype and, and they're not coming here, but I, I believe they are, and they're probably already here if we're knowing about it now. We know that we train other troops, and they could have already been here, and then they'd sign the agreement, and okay, poof, they're here, right? Officially now. Instead of unofficially, they're just here officially. They have some paperwork to back them. But again, our troops aren't going to, our troops aren't going to, some of them might be going to this, okay? Hope they are. Hope more will go. And I don't want this to slow the movement down because we need to do this. But we need to we need to have all eyes open. And if we confirm this, maybe we got to change the date. Maybe we got to go about it a different way. Okay. But let me tell you something. I don't care how peaceful these so far 4,700 people are. I know as far as me and my house, there's not one Russian troop that's going to tell me to do a fucking thing. Okay? There, there isn't actually one soldier that's going to tell me to do a fucking thing. No, you're not going to point a weapon at me. You're going to have to make that decision to eliminate my life uh, at that point, sir. Because I'm not going to comply. When I come to D.C., I'm going to be heard. We're all going to be heard. A and they're going to listen. And they're going to have to listen. There's going to be many of us. And you should expect us. And I think they do. And I think they need to quell us now. They couldn't quell Occupy. No, no, they didn't quell Occupy. That went on, it's still going on, some people, some places. Okay? They didn't quell that. But they need to, if things like this are going to happen. They, they, from their way of thinking, I'm saying, folks, and these are sick individuals that twist the minds of people. I want you to consider that also, that I'm not here to distract from the movement, but I've been very active for the last three years, and I've seen all kinds of sick shit. The impersonations, the mind fucks, the twisting to, to move people, to do something. And the other red flag, that, and I'm just going to say it because I see it, the other red flag I see is that the Kokesh thing, okay, the thousand armed people marching in D.C. The, the minute that hit the internet, people said, you're a fucking idiot, this won't work. You, first of all, you can't bring your guns. Second of all, you need many, many people to do this. And poof, next week, here's Million Mask March. And so it's very convenient. And I know that everybody, as far as the individual humans, are working their asses off. And I know this needs to be done. And I want this to be done. And I want to take part in this. But I don't want to be surrounded with my brothers and sisters with 15,000 troops because our promise to be peaceful will go out the fucking window as far as I'm concerned. And we don't need that either. We, we need to have serious talks. And we need to all come together. And they need to hear us. And they're going to hear us. And I think they know that. So, all eyes open, all hands on deck. You guys that know uh, the moon and stars and, and the things that in the earth changes, and all I can do is share your information. But get get researching this. I'm gonna, I am gonna link you to Mr. Maverick Star's video. Okay, that will be the one link that's before. As far as the other stuff, you guys, it's all over the internet. Just take two seconds, like I did, to pull some information up for you real quick, so you could see the dots. They're flashing red dots okay to me and i hope to hell i'm wrong and i would like somebody out there to prove it to me because as soon as you do i'm going to share it with everybody else and that's going to be the fire that gets under everybody's ass and that's what's going to push this thing to the billion mask march which it needs to be as well but let us not get surrounded on our way there much love many thanks and i'll see you soon